hello guys uh, it's global tech on tube welcome to our third video about ias2 inventories covering scope objectives measurements and its disclosures i hope you enjoy the video and do like subscribe and comment as well i'm just going to skip the intro and just going uh, towards the video thank you keep watching ACCA2 inventories. ACCA inventories contain the requirements on how to account for most types of inventory. And the standard requires inventories to be measured at the lower of cost and net utilizable value, which is N or B. And the most acceptable methods of determining cost include FIFO, first in and first out. And weighted average cost. ISA 2, which is inventory, was issued in December 2003 and has been applied from Jan 2005 onwards in annual reports published annually. And uh, just going ahead and uh, just talking about the objective of ISO 2 inventories, the objective of ISO 2 is uh, to prescribe the accounting treatment for inventories. It provides the guidance for determining the cost of inventories and for subsequently recognizing an expense, including any write down to net realizable revenue. It also provides guidance on the cost formulas that are used to assign costs to inventories. And now we're going to talk about the scope of ISO 2 inventories, a bit of the details on it. Uh, the scope. Inventories include assets held for sale in the ordinary course of business which can be finished goods, assets in the production process for sale in the ordinary course of business, which is work in progress, and finally materials and supplies that are consumed in production, which is raw materials in general. The ISO, ISO 2 excludes certain inventories from its scope, which first one is the work in process arising under construction contracts, which you can see in ISA, IA, IAS 11 construction contracts. Financial instruments, which we uh, see uh, covers in, covered by IAS 39 financial instruments, recognition and measurement. And also include biological assets related to agricultural activity and agricultural produce at the point of harvest, which is normally covered by IAS 41 agriculture. And also within the scope of the standard, ISO 2 does not apply to the measurement of inventories held by producers of agriculture and forest products, agriculture produced after harvest and minerals and mineral products, to the extent that they are measured at a net realizable value above or below cost in accordance with well-established practices in those industries. And also commodity brokers and dealers who measure their inventories at fair value and less cost to sell are excluded in the scope of inventories, IAS, IAS2. And at the end, the key point which we must know that the fundamental principle of IAS2 is inventories are required to be stated at the lower of cost and net realizable value and RV, which is, which is one of the most important question for MCQs as well. It can be stated like, you can the option, 
with the lower of cost or naturalizable value to be selected. Going ahead, measurement of inventories is one of the key topics that mostly been covered in, in, in the standard of IAS2 inventories. And how you can measure it, and normally as we said, the cost and NRV are the two components of IAS2 inventories. So cost should include all cost of purchase, which include taxes, transport and handling, which is obviously net of trade discounts received on that purchase or on given receipt. And a cost of conversion, including fixed and variable manufacturing overheads included in the cost of a conversion, and also other costs incurred in bringing the inventories to, to a, their present location and condition are the three categories of cost that are normally be measured by inventories IAS2. And also, inventory costs should not include abnormal waste, storage cost, administration, administrative overheads unrelated to production, selling cost, and foreign exchange differences as well. Interest costs when inventories are purchased with different settlement state terms are normally not included in inventory costs. And uh, the standard cost and retail methods may be used for the measurement of cost provided that the results approximate actual cost. For inventory items that are not interchangeable, specific costs are attributed to the specific individual items of inventory. For items that are interchangeable, ISA 2 allows uh, the FIFO or weighted average cost formulas. The LIFO formula, which, have, uh, which had been allowed prior to 2003 revision of IAS 2, is no longer allowed. And the same cost formula should be used for all inventories with similar characteristics as to their nature and use to the entity. For groups of inventories that have different characteristics, different cost formulas may be justified. And a write down to net realizable value. The second most important component of IAS2 inventories, NRV, is the estimated selling price in the ordinary course of business, less the estimated cost of completion and the estimated cost necessary to make the sale. The important point you have to keep in mind is that NRV is NRV comprises of selling price in the ordinary course of business. That's it. We have to have eliminate cost of completion and the estimated cost necessary to make that sale. So you have to keep in mind and NRV is just the estimated selling price. Any written down to NRV should be recognized as an expense in the period in which the write down occurs. That has to be treated in the financial statements and also normally is in the income statement. You have to recognize an expense as soon as it be written down. So any reversal uh, should be recognized in the income statement the period in which the reversal income occurs normally in the same head. And expense uh, recognition, IES 18, revenue addresses, uh, you can have the expense recognition as well in the same category of going down in IES 2 as well. So IES uh, 18 revenue addresses revenue recognition for the sale of goods. Inventories are sold and revenue is recognized. The carrying amount of those inventories is recognized as an expense, often called cost of goods sold. Any write down to NRV and any inventory losses are also recognized as an expense when they occur. And at the disclosure, uh, required disclosures accounting uh, policy for inventories and carrying amount generally classified as merchandise, supplies, materials, work in progress and finished goods. The classifications depend on what is appropriate for the entity. Carrying amount of any inventories carried at fair value less cost to sell. Amount of any write down of inventories recognized as an expense in the period. And also you can disclose carrying amount of inventory pledged as security for liabilities. Cost of inventory recognize an expense, which is cost of goods sold. 
So these are normally the disclosure that you come across uh, in ISO 2 in inventories. And uh, I'm going uh, to ex just end my video uh, for ISO 2 uh, ISO 2 inventories right here. Okay, thanks.